Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. And we're going to talk about EU laws. Yes. When you're a member of a club like the EU, uh, people, governments concentrate on the so-called benefits and uh, are reluctant to talk about the, the losses that can be suffered by, by society. Uh, from the material point of view, it's quite clear uh, that there are losses, so, uh, losses that you nearly can't quantify, but they're so valuable if they're, if, if they're, uh, if they're managed properly. We have, we're an island with our next uh, port of call, the United States. We have fishing grounds second to none in Europe. There is only one other country that might have something similar, and that's our next door neighbour, Britain, who had a, a shipping, uh, a good shipping industry. Uh, we did not have a shipping industry, but we, we had a, a good developing fishing industry. That, alas, has been sold for to gain the benefits, question mark, of the EU, to the detriment of the development of that marvellous industry which given employment to thousands of people, now under threat even worse because they've signed away more rights for Irish fishermen. And there's great criticism from fishing communities, from the priests and the, and the ministers uh, ministering to the, 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 that area, uh, that, that, that their livelihoods are under threat because of the actions of this government, which is a staunch supporter of the EU, United, the, uh, the EU, European Union, formerly the European Economic Cooperation Community. Community, and now uh, this. So that's we're talking about here, I'm talking about the EU laws, etc. One other important thing, aside from what that uh, aspect of it is, is the fact that they are very secular. Um, respect for, for the Christian religion and for God, which is our ultimate, uh, 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 our ultimate destiny, because we're here for a relatively short time, uh, eternally wise, we'll spend more time in eternity on than on this earth. Uh, so, what's the position with regard to what they're at? What they're at is this, that Irish bishops have criticised, in inverted commas, the one-sided EU abortion draft revolution. Now, it's Become, we're going to become in law, they can talk about draft and this, that. They propose to uh, enshrine uh, the business of uh, killing the unborn, calling it abortion as if it's something that might apply to uh, uh, a, a laboratory or something where, where you do something else. We'd say uh, um, <clears throat> um, a place where uh, uh, animals, uh, livestock would be would be would be uh, slaughtered for human consumption. Here we are, and uh, it's 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 laws for hum for human extinction. Because when you kill babies by the by the method of abortion, you're limiting the citizens that might come in to benefit society, benefit benefit them themselves and lead perhaps wholesome lives. You've got a society now, uh, 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 the EU, uh, which uh, has a variety of countries in it, some very, very, some very good Christian countries, some ex-communist countries that believe in nothing, and so on and so forth. A mixed bag of countries, far more than what started out. A few countries that they're criticising, that promote life and the belief in God and various other uh, Christian principles that we support 100%. I'm thinking of Hungary and Poland. And they're criticising them because they're not going down their agenda. 
that they have, which is not supported by by most Christian faiths. Some do to their shame, uh, but most Christian faiths don't support the laws that the EU are now supporting. So they're not representing and interfering with the spiritual development of citizens. You cannot be in favour of killing innocent, the most innocent, and think that you have human rights when you don't do that. The rest is just talk. So the EU is just talk. This is the Commission. And then they're, they're the tail that's waving the, 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 the dog that's the EU Parliament. But then the EU Parliament is perhaps full of the sort of Parliament that our own Parliament is full of that believe in er anything bar the spiritual development of the citizens. They're, 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 the people here voted to their tremendous shame uh, for, for the killing of, of chill babies with, 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 uh, that, that they can't be born and making it legal and calling it health. So now the EU is at the same thing. So this is a very dangerous uh, development the Irish bishops and bishops, generally speaking, of other denominations, a Christian denomination, are criticizing it also. But the trouble is, unless whatever their magazines they have, that, that this might be reported, we don't hear about it. Uh, so when the Christian TV Ireland is up and running, we will be interviewing all these uh, Christian leaders. Catholic and all the other denominations, including the Muslims, to see what their belief system is, what they support, and so on and so forth, so as we can have an overall view and a picture uh, of to see what they the, what what they're trying to encourage their their members to avail of, and what what the Christian TV Ireland will also be trying to encourage people to avail of, because that's. That is what is going to benefit society. That's what's going to give joy and peace and harmony to citizens. Not the self-indulgent, selfish way that we were talking about earlier in some of our videos. It sounds like you're trying to build a community. Well, you're trying to build a very nice, happy, contented community. Yes. We, know, we know for a solid fight that those people that we meet that has a smile on their face and whistling and so on and so forth, and the bit of joie de vivre, as they say in France, they're the people that's doing that. They're not all going around with glum faces or anything. Yeah. Uh, the secular media try to present things in such a very negative way, something that's good as if it's bad, that's something that's bad as good, which is quite the opposite of what, what Christians believe in, the dead opposite. You might call it heresy, perhaps. So it's very important uh, for, for us to sort of just highlight this, that we intend to sort of do something about it and highlight uh, what is uh, the fact of, 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 of what is obligations. That was very, very, very enlightening. Thank you very much, John. This is what we're at, trying to enlighten people as best we can. And, and, we're, and, we're, and we're not saints ourselves, we're all sinners. We are sinners, but we are getting there. We're trying to, we're trying to improve our lives. Uh, uh, yeah, Thank you very much, John. Yeah, no, that's that.